Hi, this is Helena Hart from CommitmentConnection.com and in this video I'm going to be answering a question I received from someone in our community who wants to know what it is that makes a man really fall in love and feel devoted and addicted to you forever. Addicted in a really good way, not in like an obsessive or crazy way. And this is actually something we get asked about all the time, so hopefully this will be helpful for you if this is something that you've been wondering yourself. But before I get started, if you're looking to attract the man you want into a lasting committed relationship or if you're with a man and you want to bring him closer than ever and strengthen the connection between the two of you be sure to click the button to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all of our latest videos so let's get started the one thing that really makes a man fall in love and feel addicted to you forever is one aspect of your feminine magnetism that involves creating this same safe space for him that he wants to come towards. It's almost like creating the sanctuary for him that when he feels stressed or pressured from the outside world, he just feels compelled to come towards you and get closer and closer to you rather than retreat and pull away from you, which is something that I know a lot of women experience when a man gets stressed out or he just kind of flooded with emotions, especially negative emotions. A lot of times it's just like this circuit board, it's too much for him and he just shuts down altogether. That can look like him going distant or pulling away. So just imagine if you could be that safe space for him that he wants to come towards rather than pull away from when he's stressed out or not feeling well, or even if he's just dealing with a lot in other areas of his life, if you can be that one person that he feels safe with and that he feels accepted with, where he feels like you're not going to judge him or take things personally, that just makes him fall in love and feel almost addicted to you forever in a really good way. I've really found it's in my own personal experience and just working with so many women from around the world, when a man has that, like that feminine energy in his life, that sanctuary or that safe space to come to when he's stressed out and then he loses it or there's a break from it or something, they tend to not do very well because men really need that in order to have this full, complete life. So how do you do this? You know, it's, I know it's, uh, it might sound a little easier said than done, but it's all about you know, making a man feel 100% accepted for who he is. And I always say that the acceptance all starts with you loving and embracing and accepting all the different parts of yourself. One thing I always like to say is that a man won't believe that you accept him until he truly sees that you accept you, that you love and embrace all the parts of yourself, even the parts that you don't necessarily want to show to everyone, like some of those unpleasant emotions we can tend to experience. When a man really gets the sense that you accept these parts of yourself, that's how he knows that you can accept him and that you're not gonna judge him. You can tell a man all day long, oh, I accept you, I love you, you can tell me anything, but a man really needs to feel on a deep level that you love and accept yourself before he'll ever truly believe that you're going to accept him. And so in order to do this, you wanna get really comfortable opening up to a man and being vulnerable with him. And I would really suggest starting with things that have nothing to do with him or the relationship. A lot of men can kind of shut down when they think you wanna start conversations about the relationship. So just try opening up to him in small ways. You know, Express how you feel about certain things. It could be anything, it could be how you feel about you know, your work or your plans for the weekend, something like that, even just the tiniest little thing, like, oh, I felt so overwhelmed at work today, or I felt so insecure when I had to give this presentation and I'm feeling so relieved now that it's over. It might not seem like a big deal using that word feel, but you'll be surprised how hard it is. This was definitely hard for me when I was first learning how to do this. I just didn't want to open up, especially in front of a man that I was you know, interested in or attracted to. So practice in really small, low risk situations. And what that'll do if, you know, if he's the right man for you and if he's someone who's interested in having a close connected relationship, he will start to open up to you. 
Hopefully, you know, over time, he'll start to confide in you and open up more and more and more. And when he does that, you just want to have all the acceptance in the world for him and don't judge him and don't take things personally and just show him that, you know, he can kind of tell you anything. Men would just kill for a woman that they felt like they could open up to and confide in and say anything around and they're not going to feel judged. You know, especially if he's a good, high quality man who, you know, cares about your feelings and is interested in having a close, intimate relationship like this. So that's how you do it. You want to, you want to go first by opening up to a man talking about your feelings, not necessarily how you feel about him and the relationship. Of course, all that can come later, but I would really start just uh, talking about your own experience with things, your own feelings, your own emotions or desires, and then you know that will encourage a man to open up to you. And when he does, you wanna just be completely non-judgmental and totally accepting of him. No, most men don't have that in their lives. You know, we women typically have a big social network of, you know, friends and family. I know personally, if I was experience a problem in my life, I have a bunch of people that I could call up at any moment and talk it over with them endlessly if I wanted to and feel totally uh, accepted. Most men don't have that. They don't talk to their friends in that way. So if you can be that one person in his life that he feels like you're just like this sanctuary, this safe space that he can open up to and feel close to even when he's going through a hard time that's what makes him truly fall in love and feel addicted to you in a way where you're gonna be that one woman that he never wants to live without so that's what I have for today on how to make a man fall in love and feel addicted to you in a really good way I would love to hear your experiences with this and your thoughts feel free to type those into the comment section I hope this was helpful and I will see you next next time. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to discover exactly what to say and do to get the man and relationship you've always wanted, click the button on the right side of this video to visit our website and I will talk to you soon.